with another book haul. And this time I actually got some books and other stuff. So let's start with stuff I picked up locally. Don't know if I've shown this one, but anyway, I got a bunch of stuff, so we'll go through it quick. Some Bob and Tom, double CD. Then, I know I got a lot of this stuff at uh, local Goodwill. Bruce Campbell, Jack of All Trades, was on for a season and like a half. Basically, he's kind of like a Zorro thing, It's but it's comedy. Also, The Omega Man on VHS, which I think is appropriate, and it's a nice clamshell case. So, very cool. Then, Justice League versus the Fatal Five. So, I am a huge Legion of Superheroes fan, and the Fatal Five are Legion of Superhero villains. So, I was very happy to see this at Goodwill. Okay, a couple books I got. I think I must have gotten this at Half Price Books last time. Uh, Blown to Bits. Your life, liberty, and happiness after the digital explosion. The digital explosion is transforming your world more profoundly than you ever imagined. You don't know how much I imagined. Bill Gates, The Road Ahead. I don't know. It's why Bill Gates. Unleashing the Killer App. Digital Strategies for Market. Dominance. I don't know. So, next few things I picked up. Gruv, G-R-U-V, was having a sale. If you uh, look at people that do DVD reviews, you probably see them mention it. So, picked up three things. The Andromeda Strain. Have, I haven't seen that for years. Silent Running. So... This is kind of by Douglas Trumbull, who did special effects for 2001. Then he sort of did this. And as a movie, it's got great special effects because the premise is dumb. And this Blu-ray, I started to watch it, is super basic. There are special features, but there's like no menu. You put the DVD in, the Blu-ray in, and it just it starts playing. Then, I got Battlestar Galactica, the definitive edition. So, there's a couple different versions that came out with this. I got this version because it has the original series as it aired in Galactica 1980. And it also has, I guess they tried to make a widescreen version. But, I wanted the 4x3 original version. What is weird is you notice there are five... Blu-rays here. So there's the original Battlestar Galactica and Galactica 1980. Both of them lasted one season. They also made a Blu-ray of the pilot, which they sort of released in theaters. So it's a two-part pilot. It says there's slightly different scenes on it. I haven't watched it enough to see. So that's three of them. What's the other two? Well, they decided to release individual Blu-rays for the 4x3 version and then the 16x9 version. Which is weird. I'm like, you couldn't just put them on one disc or and give just give the option? Seems odd. Okay. So, uh, one more thing before we move on to today's stuff. Pick this up off of the little library school the hidden persuader persuaders the current economy makes you persuader prone so this is from the 80s this is with a complete update for the 80s so it's even earlier than that but um i thought that would be kind of fun all right then today half price books had a fill a bag for 25 dollars used to be 20 dollars thanks joe biden Anyway, <laughs> so here's what I picked up. Um, another Bob and Tom CD. I think I've actually got this one, but it's fill a bag for $25, so why not? A couple 
issues of Game Informer they just ha happen to have around. Sure, why not? Then I got some video game novelization. So this one is interesting. It's one of the original Doom novels, which are supposed to be hilariously bad by Daphid Abhu. So, but I, I have the other two. I did not have this one. So that's cool. A StarCraft novel. Did not have this one. Shadow Hunters. This is kind of neat. I was just sort of looking around in the sort of they have the, the humor section. And I thought I have no idea this pump this this artist technology bite. So I thought it'd be fun to see some uh you know older technology cartoons. Then I also bought a Bloom County one last Walt. I may have this one, but, you know, it fits in there. So, Geeks, Mushheads, and the IT Revolution by Ernst Volgenau. How SRA International achieved success over nearly four decades. You know, SRA International, we all know them. <coughs> Ooh, the Cybrarian's Web. I always thought these would be entertaining to look at. An A to Z guide of 101 free web 2.0 tools and other resources. So to see like if any of these exist anymore. World without mind. The existential threat of big tech. Dun dun dun. Franklin Four reveals the existential threat posed by big tech, and in his brilliant polemic. Gives us a toolkit to fight its pervasive influence. All right, then we got a few video game related things. Again, I may have this one. Go gaming, but you know, if it fits in the bag. Then I got a few, a lot of things I wouldn't normally have gotten. Uh, so, uh, some Fortnite stuff. So I oh, this is kind of neat. Super Mario Maker Two. Uh. Monster Games. Another Fortnite. Again, I wouldn't get any of these because there's so much Fortnite stuff I wouldn't get this normally, but put in the bag. Apex Legends, 100% unofficial. Reality is broken. Why games make us better and how they can change the world. Sure. And then finally, I may have this already as part of a box set, but what's in the bag? Doctor Who, Time of the Doctor. I don't know. This must have been one of the specials, because uh, they. I don't know why they would release it separately. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is Matt Smith's last episode. So there you go. So then I had a birthday, so I got a couple other things. My friend Steve got me this. And then my friend Craig got me a fire pit, which I'll put a picture in. Because it's outside. I don't really have it. There we go. That's my book haul and other stuff. Like and subscribe.